Okay, I've got a really short and sweet video for you today on box and whisker plots. And it's really quite simple to do. You've done all of the groundwork for it so far. Um, you know how to find upper quartiles and everything, so it's straightforward from there. Uh, so we've got a number line, and on it we need to plot a box. And how we draw that box is we get the median in the middle. We have the lower quartile for the bottom end of the box and the upper quartile for the top end of the box. Then we add in the whiskers on either side and those are the lowest value we have in our data set and the highest value. You also need to make sure you label, label your number line with something useful. For example, this could be the percentage scored on the mid-year exam. Just make sure you put some sort of label on there so it's meaningful. We can often put this together with the cumulative frequency curve because usually we will use that to read off a median, an upper quartile, lower quartile, all of that information. So we can actually plot it onto the same graph and make use of uh, that uh, axis that we have down at the bottom. We're just using this scale here um, to be able to plot our box and whisker against so we don't have to draw another scale. So we've got these two groups here, both groups shown on the same cumulative frequency curve, and then each of the box and whisker plots is put underneath it. And that's all there is to it.